Oh, cannot. Okay. Parametric first. Um, parametric, ah. Uh, looks difficult, but actually it's not that difficult. It really isn't difficult. Um, it's quite a mouthful here. Yeah? I don't think I want to go through this yet. I'm gonna just going to use a simple example to illustrate this point. Okay, okay. Um, jump straight to example 9. Eh? I come back to this a bit. Okay, in a bit. Let's do example 9 first. I'll come back to the theory after I deal with example 9. Now, parametric equation, this way of expressing like that is another way of describing a curve or a straight line. Now, how? There is an extra parameter called T. Okay, there's an extra parameter called T. Never mind, let's see how it, how it works. Well, how it works is this. If the, I tell you a curve can be defined by this, this pair like that, for T taking on between 0 and 2, what it means is I can sub T equal to 0, then my X is 0, my Y is 0. Which means that zero, 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 zero is a point on the curve. That means this that. That means I have this point here. And this point. If I substitute x or rather t is equal to zero point five. I get x equals 0 0.5, y equals to 1. Which means 0, 1 is. Oh, 0 0.5, sorry, 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 sorry. What am I talking? 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.5, 1 is a point on the curve. Yeah, your measurement should be better than mine. Okay, I don't know. I, I know don't. But okay, la. should be okay. Next, you know the drill. If now this, you get two. Therefore, one, two is a point. Then you know this is three. Therefore, one point five. Three. This is four. Now, can we observe all these coordinates like that? And you can plot them on this coordinate plane. What do we think the C is? The curve C looks like. Is it a curve? Or a straight line? Line. What is the Cartesian equation of this straight line? Y equals to 2x. Very good. It's actually y is 2x. It is actually y equals to 2x. Here we are. Yeah, correct. Well, why am I good? So, no, no, my points cannot like that. I must draw the line first. Then like that. Two, three, four. Ah, now it looks nice. Thank you, thank you. So it is actually the curve y equal to x. No. So what I'm trying to say is this. This way of defining gravitation. This way of defining a curve C is just another way of expressing a Cartesian equation. And this case happens to be y is x. Writing this and writing this is more or less the same. I say more or less the same because in some cases it's not identical, not exactly the same. The advantage of 
writing it like that is this. Not all of you are physics students, majority is at SP11. But never mind, you all have done physics at some point in your life. At some point uh, in your life. If I tell you T represents time, I repeat, if I tell you T represents time and X and Y represents the position of a particle, then we find it parametrically makes a bit more sense. T represents time and it can only take on positive numbers. Then I can tell you at T equals 0, the particle is here, at T equals 1, the particle is here, the T equals 2, the particle is here. Then we find it parametrically has a little bit more meaning. That's the first reason why we define it parametrically. The second reason why we sometimes define curves parametrically is because there are some curves that cannot be defined easily using Cartesian equations. There are some. Later I demonstrate. And later I demonstrate. Okay? But now we go back to the theory of parametric equations. So, can you have attention please? Now, so, now, we, now this one makes a bit of sense. If we have x equals the function of t, y is the function of t, this pair is called a parametric equation, where t is called the parameter. t is the parameter. As a third variable, independent variable is the parameter. Does it need to be always T? No one. It can be theta, it can be S, doesn't matter. But in some cases, in a lot of cases, we use T because T represents time for physics students. Alright? Alright? It's quite useful. Now, see, like I say, this analogy is to see the path trace under certain conditions. So, now it makes sense. There's a question here. Do you think we should sketch the entire line y with 2x? Actually, no, because of this. T can only take on between 0 and 2. In fact, I have a, I made a slight mistake. I should end my line here. In fact, you should start off with 0, 0. You should end off with 2, 4. That's all. Got it? Yes? Could you then convert a parametric equation to Cartesian form? It's actually not difficult. The way to convert a pair of a parametric equation to a Cartesian form is very simple. If you have x equals to t, y equals to 2t, you just have to, this is of course very simple, you just substitute this one into this, you will get y equals to 2x. Done. Of course, this is a simple example. The idea is to eliminate. I repeat, the idea is to eliminate. Once you can eliminate t, you will get your Cartesian form. Okay? Yes, once you can eliminate t, you get a Cartesian form. But I want to emphasize this. Usually, there is no need to convert parametric to Cartesian equation unless it is required by the question. Unless it is required by the question. All okay. So, Um, but this is so worthy, but never mind. What we want to say is if t is between 0 to 2, you just have to sketch this one from 0, 0 to 2, 4. So I'm going to teach you now. Some falling asleep already. Okay, now need to do some hands on. Come, take out GC. Hands on, hands on. Take out GC. Now we. 
will go through together how to sketch parametric using your GC. Okay, fastest finger, come. Now, first thing we need to do is to change the mode. Alright? You must first go to mode and you must see this change to parametric. Down, 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 right, enter. Then you go to y equal. Okay? Okay, sorry, this one clear it away. Clear it away. Then you enter your... Where do you find the letter T? Actually, it's here. It's also the same as your X. X, T, theta, and here. This one. So, you put in T. Now it's T. And then 2T. Okay. By default, if you go to window, what the GC does is enter a T minimum of 0, T maximum of 2 pi. This is the default setting. You have to change it. Because what do you want? You want theta or other T to be between 0 to 2 only. So you must change this to 2. Enter. Alright? Then you go to graph. You can see this short line here. You see, huh? Oh, you're not. Very ticklish, man. Huh? You see, huh? Very good. Okay, the rest I leave it to play on your own. But next, I'm going to demo. There are some curves that cannot be defined per, uh, cannot be defined in a Cartesian way. If you enter what you will see in your notes. If I enter here, your x equals to theta minus sine t and your y as 1 minus cosine t. Okay, wait, sorry. From 0 to 2 pi. Uh, the, 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 wait, wait. Pi second. We are window. Let me do more by fifteen, and then uh, uh, x maximum we can do twenty. Yep. You can see this kind of curve. It is very, it's very difficult to express in the Cartesian way. You can try eliminate what I'm trying. I'm referring to is this page. This one. Here. If you try and enter this into your GC, you cannot eliminate it easily. Then you get something like that. So this is the second reason why we use parametric equation. All good? Yes, all good? 